All right, welcome back. So when you have everything kind of done and you're like, I'm happy with it, I like the way it looks, uh, now it's time to make it permanent, so to seal it up. So I, on this one, I've been using polyurethane. It's a water-based one. Um, now this one says it's satin. I actually use a gloss one, but this one's unopened and smaller, so it fits on camera. I have my bigger one kind of off to the side, but you want to make sure it's nice and you know shaken up, mixed up. Uh, and then make sure you have something underneath it so you're not going to get it all over the place and just use a paintbrush. And you want to be kind of like gentle on this. If you try to rub it a lot, you can actually mess up all your textures and stuff that you just kind of spent all this time on. Uh, it really doesn't matter what brush you're using as long as it's one that you wash out real good afterward, or if you're afraid you're not gonna be able to wash it out real good afterward, just make sure it's one that you don't mind getting gross. Um, and you know, if you don't wash it, it's no longer usable, so <laughs> make sure you wash it. Uh, but you're just kinda tapping it on. If you try to like, like brush it a lot, with the oil pastels, it will kind of move the color with it a lot of times and you'll kind of end up with different color in different areas. Now, if it's really thick and you just move it just a tiny bit, that's okay. But mostly I'm just kind of dabbing it and then getting some more. Now you'll notice that it is not clear yet yet being the key phrase. So like this one has already been, you can see it's like shiny. Um, that one has already been done with one coat and it's already had a chance to dry. Uh, so you can see that it does turn clear. Other things that I have used to seal up sketchbook covers. So like I said, as long as you do it real light, you don't want to do like a ton of this right off the bat. Um, but as long as you do it real light, you can do a little, move it just a little bit. But um, I've used clear tar gel before, which is kind of nice. Uh, it looks really beautiful when it's done and it gives a really nice kind of crystal finish. And it can, it's a medium, it's an acrylic medium. So like it's got a little bit of heft to it. So it can actually... Uh, have like a texture like this will dry when it dries it'll dry fairly flat there's no real texture to it um, but the clear tar gel if you make it really thick you can add a texture on top of it and that can look really really interesting the only thing I found with the clear tar gel is that um, it it'll dry but if you put it on a slick surface like a lot of tables and stuff it'll have a slight stickiness to it a slight tack and then um you know it feels kind of awkward to like your sketchbook up off the table so once you get this kind of all the way covered like i said if it's really thick and you're really gentle you can kind of move it around a little bit but check and make sure that everything is really nicely covered. If you have any little bubbly areas and stuff, you can kind of like tap at them and just make sure that everything is well covered. Because if it's not well covered, it will continue to smear because that's what, you know, that's what oil pastels do. That's one of the benefits of oil pastels is they're very blendy. So just let this dry and you can use the trick that I did before. Like if you need to move it, you can always take um, a lid of some sort and set a couple lids out and set this on top of that. Um, but let it dry overnight. And once you can no longer see the kind of, you know, whitish color, uh, then it's safe to hold and you can move on to the next bit of your artwork or journal making and drill holes and all that kind of stuff. And all right. Thanks everybody.